Hello. Uh, this morning I would like to demonstrate harmonic motion. And harmonic motion um, relative to a uh, Hooke's Law spring. Now, I don't have a Hooke's Law spring. I don't even have a spring, but I do have a rubber band. So I have two rubber bands attached to one another here. And um, if you analyze the Hooke's Law problem, and it's um, well analyzed by uh, Khan Academy, Sal Khan on Khan Academy, so I urge you to take a look at that. Uh, the oscillation of a Hooke's Law mass attached to a Hooke's Law spring uh, is proportional to the force constant, which is the stiffness of the spring, the square root of the force constant, divided by the square root of the mass. And I'd like to demonstrate that I'm, I'm qualitatively. I'm using a rubber band instead of a spring, things that are readily available. And for the masses, I'm just using some washers joined together. So uh, let me extend this quote unquote spring and count the oscillations. And I want to see what happens when I change the mass. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now try to remember that. Now I'm going to double the mass. Let's see what happens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So I think you can see that the frequency goes down when I double the mass. And uh, I'm not doing it quantitatively, me measuring the exact frequency, but there clearly is a reduction in the frequency as you increase the mass. Now let's see what happens when I increase the stiffness of the spring. So I'm going to have two, oh, excuse me, <laughs> two sets of rubber bands. I guess I should be more careful here. Two sets of rubber bands. Okay. And I'm going to extend it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So increasing the stiffness of the spring um, of the rubber band uh, increases the frequency, and uh, increasing the mass decreases the frequency. So let's look at the lighter mass with just one set of rubber bands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And with two masses, let me hold this so I don't bump my head again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So uh, I think uh, you can see this is a nice, uh, simple way of demonstrating uh, harmonic motion and how it depends on the stiffness of the spring using rubber bands, which are readily available, and the mass uh, using washers, which are also readily available. I used to have in my former life, uh, when I taught at Rhode Island College, I had some springs, and that worked better, but I, <clears throat> I don't have any uh, now. So I guess I could get a hold of them. So I, I urge you, to, if you're interested in harmonic motion, to look at the Sal Academy um, presentation in the physics section on harmonic motion uh, to understand the uh, quantitative relationship between the mass and the force constant and the frequency. And uh, I hope uh, you enjoyed this video and you could find an easy way using it to demonstrate these principles. Thank you for your attention and I'll see you next time.